and in this video we will see most important 10 marks question of ECE 249 guys most of you are requesting me to upload the videos for 10 marks subjective questions and uh, you know already that uh, 5 10 marks question will be asked and uh, you need to attempt only 4 questions but in this video I am covering uh, nine questions nine total questions from unit number four unit number five and unit number six this is your syllabus so uh, let's start with the first question first question from unit number four is elaborate on the basic principle of operation for an ultrasonic sensor so this is the question guys i am uh, i am discussing three questions from unit number four and if you do these three questions means you have completed your fourth unit for subjective questions okay so uh, i am providing here a demo answer you can write your own answer or uh, you can search the answer on chat gpt or google also but let me discuss the demo answer uh, so this is the answer like first you can discuss the basic principles of, uh, of of operation for an ultrasonic sensor then you can discuss the generic of uh, generation of ultrasonic uh, wave then emission of ultrasonic waves reflection from an object times of flight measurement you can skip this formula and uh, in last you can uh, discuss the applications in distance measurement this is important you need to uh, mention the applications in the exam but this is not necessary to write this much in the exams for 10, 10 marks questions you can skip one or one or two points so this is the answer for this question question number first answer okay okay coming to the next question next questions from this unit will be explain the pin configuration of the Arduino Arduino Uno board in details and uh, now you can discuss the digital pins you can discuss about the digital pins analog pins power pins communication pins reset pins okay so these are all the pins you can discuss here I, I i provided the demo answers you can go through these answers if you want to score better just see the answer and uh, the third questions from this unit can be third questions can be compare and contrast the fundamental principle of a temperature sensor and ir sensor most important questions in fact uh, these these questions are more important than previous two questions which i have shown now okay so you can compare this temperature sensor and uh, ir sensor you can write this thing in comparison working principle output types and then you can uh, discuss about the applications response time for the temperature sensor and for the ir sensor you can discuss the same thing working principle output types application sensor response time and then you can compare about uh, about the nature of uh, measurement contact versus non contact ranges uses environment and in the last you must you should summarize your answer in the exam if you summarize the answer means you are just uh, impressing the examiner and you will score better in the exam you can skip one or two points but better is to just remember the main main point and you can elaborate these points in the exam and score better okay so these are the three questions from unit number four coming to the unit number five five no theoretical questions can be asked from this unit number five and i am not providing the answer of these questions question one can be explain the design and operation of a four bit binary adder and four bit binary subtractor in answer you can you can uh, include details explanation of the design principles truth tables, circuit diagrams boolean expression and overflow detection overflow detection you can also avoid and the practical scenarios showcasing the advantage of subtractor circuit but you must include the design principles expl explaining the design principle truth tables circuit diagram and boolean expression these are must you need to explain these questions in order to achieve 10 out of 10 marks in in this question next question can be explain the design and operation of a 4-bit binary adder and a 4-bit binary subtractor and uh, oh sorry oh, oh these two questions are same okay guys i will provide the second number question in the comment box and in the in that and uh, in that questions you need to 
include the answer like the answer should be included the details explanation and design the truth table and magnitude comparator actually that question was about uh, uh, multiplexer and comparator two tables circuit diagrams boolean expression and the roles and magnitude comparison of a data set selections and the concept of priority encoding priority encoding questions was also included on that questions i will provide that question in the comment box go through the comment box to find that question and i, I will also write the second number question in the description box also okay and the third question finally the third question is describe the principle behind three is to eight decoders and is is to three encoders and parity circuit you can include in answer in details explanation and design of operation of three is to eight decoder eight is to three encoders and parity circuit it should cover truth table you need to cover truth table circuit diagrams boolean expression and the role of decoders and encoders in digital system the purpose of parity circuit and the comparison of even parity and odd parity if you include this thing in answer you will score 10 out of 10 marks if this question is asked and if you do all these three question all these three questions then your unit 5 is complete i have provided the three questions of unit number four if you do three all that three questions means you have covered your unit number four no need to study further coming to the unit number six first question can be explain the fundamental principle of sequential circuit sequential logical circuit focusing on sr latch d latch and d flip flop in answer you can include comprehensive explanation of sr latch d latch d flip flop and circuit diagrams Truth tables also you can include timing diagrams, the role of each flip flop in different applications, and detailed discussion on clock and is trigger flip flops. Guys, this is a 10 marks question, so you must include all these things. At least you said include the circuit diagram and truth table and timing diagram. These are the must to get 10 out of 10. Okay. Second question can be second question can be discuss the operation of basic shift register serial in serial out serial in serial out parallel in parallel out okay in answer you can in include the answer uh, detailed explanation of basic shift register their types you can include circuit diagrams and the purpose of each you can also discuss the design principle of asynchronous and synchronous counter circuit diagram truth table truth table guys i am recommending you to always draw the truth table if the question of the uh, question asked from the fifth unit and uh, definitely the one uh, one question will be asked from the fifth unit and the comparison of ring counter and johnson ring counter and its application you can include in the answer okay coming to the last question last question can be explained and last question is very important jk flip-flop very important guys just go and remember the things of jk flip-flop go and see the videos of jk flip-flop if you don't know explain the concept of master slab jk flip-flop and its advantage over the basic jk flip-flop provide a detailed circuit diagram and timing diagram of a master slab jk flip-flop additionally you need to discuss the conversion of a jk flip-flop into d flip-flop and, and a t flip-flop presenting the circuit diagram and truth table of each conversion guys if you do these nine questions means you 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 can uh, do four questions which will be asked in your exam actually five questions will be asked you need to attempt only four questions out of that five questions and uh, you can refer to the mcq's video for the mcq practice if you don't know the concept of subjective just focus on the mcq 30 marks mcq mcq's question will be asked if you attempt all these 30 questions means you will pass in the exam okay and the in answer of this question you can include uh, comprehensive explanation of master slab jk flip-flop its advantage detailed circuit diagram and timing diagram you can also cover the co conversion of jk flip-flop d flip-flop and t flip-flop providing a circuit diagram truth table again the tru truth table here and discussing in the practical significance of this conversion so guys this was the most important questions from the unit number four fifth and sixth thank you so much guys for watching the videos do subscribe the channel and share this video in every group. Thank you so much.